But Gen Z has a whole different uh, dictionary for dating terms. For example, do you know what a beige flag is? No. We know red flags. We know green flags. But a beige flag is, for Gen Z, someone who posts things like, live, laugh, love. Mm. You know, like they have those signs in their house. Yeah, you so, know, have you ever mm-hmm. seen those signs before? No, you They're haven't. Hit, it's house, what? It's like scream, cry, punch. <laughs> hit. Yeah. Terrible has to have some. Uh, <laughs> scream, cry, punch. You yeah. know. You've never yeah. seen Live, Laugh, Love? Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're I think like, I have it in my house. They're what? like normally either or people will it. write it on the wall. They'll have like a sticky uh, that goes on the wall, it's or like there. Yeah, yeah, there. a wooden panel or something like mm. art. I don't have that. All the all the bougie white drunk women at your house do. They <laughs> they have say Live, Laugh, Love. I bet you have to have Live, Laugh. I welcome all people to my house except for you, Squid. By the way. Katie, Gen yeah. Z is mid to late nineties as your start is when you were born. Okay, and, so, and going forward. All right, gotcha. So, so what age? Well, nineties well, mid nineties when you're twenties. So oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm right on born? the edge. I know. Like, yeah, I was born in ninety six. So you'll okay. be there. So mid to late nineties. Yeah. Squid's like the first generation of it, or the first year of it. Oh, how right. depressing! Okay. He leads it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like live, laugh, love signs. Do no. you? No. 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 I mean, no. they're funny. They're funny. Yeah. <laughs> like we, we make fun of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a beige sign for Gen Z. Gen Z also says the dating term you should know is affordating, dating, affordating, dating, afford dating. Basically, it's affordable Squid, dates. Do you know what that means? Affordable dating. Affordable dating. I like that. Affordable dating. Sounds Affordable dating. Yeah. We already did it for Valentine's. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was Affordable free. dating. There are way more coffee meetups, walks, sober dinners, things Ugh. that are not breaking the bank. See, the good mm. news for you, Squid, you can either claim either generation. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's when things are loserish with the Gen Z, you're oh, yeah. like, I'm, I'm not there. Yeah, yeah. they're cool. You can say I'm not that crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Like you'll Mm -hmm. splurge for a dinner. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy at least buy some PBRs at the dinner. Yeah. At least buy the three (laughs) dollar tap. Okay. But you wouldn't do like pre drink din or pre pre show drinks and then some sort of show or movie and then dinner and then after drinks. I mean, that's like too much. Depends on how sexy she is. Okay. I agree. Right. And but just Katie, a standard yeah. first date, no. No, a standard that, first date, no. It, also, if Gen Z are younger, they don't have as much Income possibly. Well, that's exactly what this is. All. Yeah. yeah, this is why. This mm-hmm. is this is exactly why they have the term because they just don't. I it's, mean, so coffee yeah. meetups can be. Now, I mean, we had some coffee the other day, and depends on where you go, but it could be expensive. Oh yeah, on the yeah. expensive oh, yeah. side. Coffee, yeah, I've never done that because I don't drink coffee like that. Yeah, but yeah, like I go to a coffee it. house or yeah, something. Yeah, I would do that. I would do that. Isn't yeah. coffee though give you bad breath? It can, it can, yeah. I it's a bad idea on a date. Though, yeah. If you're both drinking. And it. if you're yeah. both drinking, and, and it's only bad dress really while you're drinking, and then once you drink water, so, so it's fine. Drink. Okay. Coffee's mm-hmm. like super popular to like oh, a date. Very popular. Mm-hmm. Like a date, yeah. On dates, to go on a coffee? date. Like, yeah, like, very, let's just meet up. Very popular. Mm-hmm. And that's akin to the lunch date? Uh, I don't like it at all because it's, unless there's Bailey's in it, because yeah. um, <laughs> it's exactly right. Now, if you're going to meet up for coffee, like, to talk and stuff like that, that's more of, in my opinion, your second or third. Mm-hmm. I see. Once you get out of the crazy night way, I can't believe I did that, then you yeah. can do that Okay. Stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, and also, coffee dates, I think, are shorter. The intention right. is right. shorter than a lunch. Like 30 minutes, maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. You know, because you can only sip on a coffee for so long. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> right. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. There's another term that Gen Z says you need to know if you're dating. Cushioning. It means keeping several alternatives or backup plans, just safety pillows, just in mm. case yeah. the date you're on doesn't work out. The bullpen. Mm. The bullpen. Yeah. Do that. It's your bullpen to their cushioning. cushioning. Okay. Same diff. I've yeah. done that my whole life before mm-hmm. I was married. Yeah. I normally treat the booty as a cushion and put my head on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my form of cushioning. Okay. But if the booty don't show up, you have to have other booty. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. You don't have the same definition, Squid, but it's fine. <laughs> I got to have multiple cushions <laughs> just in case one don't work out. <laughs> but I don't know if Squid, Squid has the motor to be talking to more than one girl at a time. You know, he's so like laid back. He's like, I don't I have to drive. Like, I got to text uh-huh. somebody else. Yeah. So then yeah. He's like, all right, mm-hmm. I guess I'll hang out with Jason. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get beers uh, with Jason. Carol's out of town. Let me text him. Unless you we'll... get a night off. Yeah. yeah. I'll go just watch. Jason puts my Kia furniture right. together. <laughs> <laughs> Help him put his hot tub in. <laughs> Another term you need to know for Gen Z dating, eco-dumping. It effectively involves ending a date. 
because someone's lack of commitment to the environmental cause. Oh yeah. That's mm. It's important yeah, to yeah, them, yeah, yeah. but it's important to them. Well, they yeah. yeah. brainwash through school the whole time. Hey, somebody's <laughs> got to save this earth. Yeah, that's true. Someone's got no, to. I'm, 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 no, I can see that. No, like, it, it could be a turn off. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who litters like Jared. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? You did. I am you not. did. I, I witnessed am environmentally it. friendly. I saw you kick something down the sewer. I saw you kick something down the sewer. Life, I am more environmentally friendly. Right. Without a doubt. I don't like wasting water. Trust me, I scream across the bathroom when Carol leaves the faucet on when she's brushing her teeth, where she could turn it off. That brush is her teeth, because it's wasting it. your money. Right. Not because you care about yeah. the resources. With one stone. <laughs> it's green <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say there's only one person in here that has an EV, electric vehicle, me. Oh my I love God. the environment. Oh, yeah. Katie, your battery. Katie, Katie, Katie has your the battery. biggest SUV. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, she's Jared killing Mother Nature. Jared didn't give two S's about the environment. He wanted it so he could show off what he thinks no. is BDE. Like, <laughs> look at me. I drive a Tesla. I care about the earth. No, you don't. I Jared, do. No, you don't. Cars with doors that open yes. to the side. Yeah. There's only one. Yeah. But doors. No. Yes. It's What's going to make me look like I have money? This. No. Yep. Yes. Uh, okay, Tahoe. That is true 100%. <laughs> on, like, Can you no. just own it? A Tahoe is a very just common car. No, I, it is I've, a very common car. I've liked mm-hmm. the Tesla for a long time. Uh-huh. I have. Yes. And I thought it was the, the most ingenious car, and it is. It's the smartest car on the market. Now, the doors thing, if I just got like the standard three or, or S, a little embarrassing. Are you crapping on people who just have yeah, a, the, that kind of test? I thought you liked it for the, for the environment. Yes, because the, the doors open. And it, <laughs> but I heard it, the it battery. The solution away. I heard the battery can be just as bad for the environment, the way oh. that it's created and, yeah, and, 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 and powered and all that. Yeah. yeah. I don't no, know. but the truth is. The, the, the truth is, I've liked the Tesla for a long time because the first time I rode in one, I'm like, this car is freaking awesome. Did I do it for the environment? No. 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 Now, if the doors open, did I do it to flex? Yes. See, thank you. <laughs> yes. I didn't for just the... being honest. I'm honest all the time. I'd li- but I'd like to hear but you say it. But I didn't get it, it to make, make me look rich. It's actually backfired because people, <laughs> anyone that meets me, are like, oh, you must be loaded. I'm like, oh, no. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I'm actually saving money. Yeah. But I my wits it. loaded, Playboy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when we opened the door, fair, he <laughs> did buy it when, when gas prices were still up. But he did buy it when gas prices were through the roof. Mm-hmm. I'm spending six fifty a month on gas. Mm-hmm. With and I love SUVs. That's mm-hmm. my, my, SUVs are my favorite. But you know, I'm just saying, I love the environment. Katie does a big <laughs> SUV, killing it every day. <laughs> okay, I'm also not in Gen Z and dating, so you know, I don't eco neither, eco neither dumping's not on my radar. Mm-hmm. Um, friend introduction. Do you know about a friend introduction? It's the latest dating term. Mm. It's when you meet a new partner's friends for the very first time. Mm. I'm oh. ready to take the relationship to the next oh, level yeah. and do the friend introduction. I do that too early. I definitely do oh, that. Oh, you too do? Early. Yeah. Well, because you're just hanging though, right? Like yeah. everybody's just hanging out. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. But it's too, too, like, if she's pretty, I'm like, I want to show my friends immediately. We, we may yeah. be we off the air right now. <laughs> I, I know that really? if you're online streaming, you probably can hear us, but it, we may have just went off the air for some reason. But continue. Do we continue? Yes. Why we waste all the energy? Seriously, this is oh, such yeah. a great segment. <laughs> well, let's talk about we're crap. online right now. If yeah. You know. oh. yeah. Okay. That's disappointing. I'm still getting the audio for elsewhere. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Frugal, Katie's, uh, frugal car, flirting. Katie's car took all the power. <laughs> frugal flirting. <laughs> frugal flirting for Gen Z is about dating within your means. <laughs> like, we're back oh, yeah. on the air. Sorry. Just so you know, we're okay. back on there. Frugal flirting. <laughs> mm, uh, I actually don't understand frugal flirting. It's flirting without a cost. No, within mm. your means. But yeah. it's just flirting. Is it you flirt with so people? Not, are you flirting with do... people that you can think you can like so same socioeconomic status? It doesn't say that. Oh, interesting. Mm. It just says mm. within your means. But I, maybe that's what it means. What it means. Maybe a Gen Z person wrote it and they didn't finish the sentence. They didn't. Well, normally when <laughs> like, they don't know how. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like normally when my go to now to flirt and try to get women to hang out with me is bribing them with tickets we get from the Tango Center. <laughs> <laughs> and so like that's, that's flirting within my means. Strong move. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's mm-hmm. strong, that's bro. Good. Yeah, yes, you're yeah. not spending any money on it. No. Do but they, I, I, mean, I will go and get some dinner before and drinks oh. before. Yeah, because there's no cost. You know. Yeah, yeah. It balances out. Even do they think that you you bought the tickets uh i don't know if they know that or not but that's a irrelevant detail yeah i don't, I don't think you have to share that i wouldn't mm-hmm. share i wouldn't ask no huh? either if i were on a date like did you buy these i wouldn't ask right i'll just say I like would... yeah i'm going with the station that's like even I when i get friends like if i have something in the last minute i can't go and it's like a concert so i'm like dang it i can't go mm-hmm. and i give it to a friend 
I never tell my guy for free. I'm, they're like, oh. let me Venmo you. I'm like, eh, 50 bucks is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're 200 bucks. 50 bucks is Jared fine. Jared is yeah. cheap. Mm. Jared <laughs> is cheap. I am very cheap. <laughs> Except for I drive a Tesla. It doesn't make sense. I'm yeah. conflicted. And then finally, the last uh, Gen Z dating term you need to know, benching. And it is the same as cushioning. You got to bench. you always have someone <laughs> on the bench just waiting to come in. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Benching. I a, yeah, I need a bench. Yeah. I'm not a bench. So what I'm learning about Gen Z dating is that it's just a whole lot of not committing to one person, just always having a backup plan. Right. Affordably. 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 Yes. Affordably. Affordably. Cheaply having a bunch mm-hmm. of people to date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like that, though, too, when I was squid's age or younger. I was doing the same thing, affordable dating and benching people on the mm-hmm. bench. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ball, mm-hmm. We call it the uh, bullpen. Bullpen. Yeah, mm-hmm. the bullpen. And so yeah. then you would contact your starter. You're like, oh, please say yes. And they say no. You're like, okay, we'll go to the second person. Yeah. And then by the end, you're the person that shouldn't even be on the team. Yeah. That's mm. the, and when, uh, at the end, you're like, I have diapers at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I, have, I have a newborn baby. Yeah. <laughs> I know, you just had a baby. I have mm-hmm. diapers. What's up? <laughs> so, as a female, this is fascinating to me. Because yeah. women do not operate this no, way. Don't. Women mm-hmm. absolutely 100% do not operate she this did. way. No, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying, like, we're not like, well, my plan B is. Is do you really? know? No. If I fight subconsciously. No. I think so. Mm-mm. Maybe you didn't have a plan B. I was always just into whoever, like whoever I liked the most is who I wanted uh, to go out I with. No, I think some it girls. It's do. very then, important to always have plan B. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's that. There is that the split. split ain't you never know. Oh, uh, man. You never know. <laughs> but uh, and now it's over the counter. Yeah. <laughs> but Katie, to be sure, to be clear, yeah. like that's if we were not. In a committed relationship. No, I'm saying with this yeah. all for, for dating oh, for okay. super like singles. I think yeah. I do think some girls, but I don't think maybe as much some. As guys. But I, it is not the way y'all talk about it. Where you, every, every single one of you say you have Plan B. Women Mm-mm. do not operate that way. I think now it might be a little bit different because of social media. They're getting hit, hitting, sure. you know, there's like you know a thousand people messaging messaging them, and they might say yes mm-hmm. to one person like uh-huh. Squid, and then someone else much better looking comes along, like, and then they ghost. Well, but mm. the difference is the actual meeting up part. I think I you see. can be talking to. Lots yes, of different guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Like yeah. Agreeing to meet media, up and but, then they ghost. Yeah. yeah, but going out with several different every single. Oh, I don't yeah. think that I've happens been, for ladies. Oh, as much. Okay. I've been trying to recruit Hope as a starter for for months now on, yeah. on Instagram. It hadn't happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. contract and negotiations keep, yeah, are stale. Trying to negotiate. You keep trying to plug her now. Still doesn't work. Yeah, still doesn't, doesn't work. work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plug her. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that a Gen Z term? Oh, um, let me see. Let me look. <laughs> no, I don't see it on here. What is? What, isn't plug a term though, or is that, is that nasty? I don't know. No, it's your plug. Plug like for like. You're my plug. Huh? Yes, you buy drugs from. Buy whatever from. You can have a. Weed plug, you can have a oh, oh, okay. Matt plug, that. you can have a yeah. mucus plug, a plug for <laughs> yes. tickets, you can have a, yeah. No. A no, I mean plug, later, down the line. You can, have a plug, you can have a plug for butt plugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a your butt plug. Deal on a plug. Plug. Do you know what a mucus plug is? Mucus plug. No. You, you want to see mine? Oh, my no. God. Oh, no. No. I have a picture hey, of it. Do no. <laughs> you keep not wearing condoms, you're going to see one. You're going to know all about it. What? Whoa. The mucus plug is up in your cervix when you're pregnant, and then when you're about to have the baby, the mucus plug expels. And oh. so, <laughs> it's you're like, gonna baby's gag. coming soon. Uh, it's a uh, miracle. Uh, it is. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Plan B plug. I, ne- I never have a Plan B, but I always have some Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> but what flex that would be, Squid, if you had Plan B just in your car, since you can buy it over the counter, yeah, yeah. you just had it in your glove compartment. You're like, yeah. here, you might need this Or tomorrow. on your dash. Yeah. 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 Or hanging, hanging from, from the rear view. view. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking about it, opening up uh, a oh store, uh, not a store, but a business about Plan B. And basically what it would be is it would be vending machines all over the place. And you have to show ID um, okay. um, just so you're not like, you know, super like a 10 year old taking right. Right, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, and whatever the age is that you're supposed to. And then having vending machines out there so people aren't embarrassed to get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then just having vending machines with Plan B and condoms. And it can be for men only. Yeah. You can have yeah. a Plan D. <laughs> and it's condoms. Hey, so the so all what happened deep. with the whole wrapping this up timer <laughs> thing you were going to do today? <laughs> Baby steps. We're actually um, early. No, wow. one knows, no one knows who we're talking about for once, mm. ever. Kind, well, kind of. Kind of. For us. All right. 